Hi, I'm Ian Crosby, CEO of Sequana Medical. Non-alcoholic steatohepatitis, or NASH, is known as a silent disease. It is a severe form of non-alcoholic fatty liver disease where the liver becomes inflamed due to the accumulation of fat. It is extremely difficult to diagnose with patients experiencing few or no symptoms until the disease is more advanced and can no longer be reversed or treated with simple lifestyle changes. As NASH progresses, the liver tissue becomes severely scarred due to inflammation as a result of the fat deposits. As the tissue damage spreads throughout the liver, it is known as cirrhosis. At this point, there is no difference to the cirrhosis, whether it is caused by NASH, alcohol, or the hepatitis virus. This scarring obstructs the blood flow through the liver, causing fluid to leak from the liver into the abdominal cavity. This is called ascites, and is one of the most severe and debilitating complications of liver cirrhosis, leading to frequent hospitalizations and a major deterioration in the patient's quality of life. The nature of liver disease is changing. In the past, it was driven primarily by alcoholic liver disease and viral hepatitis, but now NASH is increasingly important due to the rise in obesity driven by our unhealthy lifestyles and aging populations. This is important because liver disease is no longer seen as a disease that only affects those on the edge of our society and is now becoming a mainstream middle-class disease. There has been a sharp increase in cases of fatty liver disease and NASH over the past two decades. It is estimated that 30 to 40 million Americans will be affected by NASH by 2030. Despite huge efforts by pharmaceutical companies, the results of clinical trials have been disappointing and there is still no approved treatment for NASH. Although NASH can be hard to diagnose until it is too late, this is not the case for liver ascites. There is no doubt a patient has ascites when they arrive at the hospital with a severely swollen abdomen. It is a painful condition that requires urgent treatment. Although ascites can initially be treated with drugs or dietary restrictions, over time these become ineffective for many patients. This is known as recurrent or refractory ascites. Patients can accumulate 10 to 15 liters of ascites every 15 days, leading to extreme discomfort, pain and difficulty breathing, eating and sleeping. It can cause nausea and constipation and other serious problems. Just imagine what it is like trying to function with 15 liters of water inside your belly. The most common treatment is drainage, also called paracentesis. This has been used since the time of the ancient Egyptians and hasn't changed much. It's a painful and invasive procedure in which a large bore needle is inserted into the abdomen to drain the fluid. It has to be done in hospital under medical supervision and can take five to seven hours. Unfortunately, this does not stop the accumulation of fluid and the drainage needs to be repeated every couple of weeks. It severely impacts a patient's quality of life and creates a huge burden on already stretched healthcare systems. We estimate that half of the patient's remaining life is lost due to the burden of this terrible condition. We developed the Alpha Pump to provide a 21st century solution for this debilitating condition and help those patients live a higher quality of life. The FDA has designated the Alpha Pump a breakthrough medical device for the treatment of recurrent or refractory liver ascites. This important program is for medical devices that provide more effective treatment or diagnosis of life-threatening or irreversibly debilitative diseases or conditions. We do hope that you will follow us as we progress to clinical development and if successful, bring Alpha Pump to patients in need.